think about it. You know, you buy a new phone, you're really, really happy with the way the camera performs. You take some pictures, everybody's amazed at the clarity. And then as time goes by, your photography tends to get a little bit more mediocre and then it reaches an inferior state. You actually don't like the kind of pictures that are coming out. The main reason why your photographs are not coming out the way they should be is because of the outer glass that covers the lens and the sensor to protect it because that is getting micro scratches. Corning with their Gorilla Glass DX and DX Plus actually have the most incredible solution. Mobile phones are ingrained in our lives so much that they are our go-to devices for everything. Believe it or not, mobile phones are also one of the few pieces of tech that are abused the most. They're always at risk of potentially dropping or scratching. Corning has been making its name in the smartphone segment since immemorial times with its Gorilla Glass technology. The company is known for protecting the front and in some cases the back panel of most of the smartphones in the industry. Now Corning wants to expand its coverage and become even more important for smartphone makers. Apparently Corning is aiming at the cameras with its Corning Gorilla Glass DX and Glass DX Plus which provides professional grade image capture technology in mobile devices. It's an undeniable fact that the glass of the display or the back scratches more easily than the cameras. This comes even when the cameras rest on the desks and other surfaces all the time. This happens especially with the devices with protruding cameras. The company adds that composites not only provide camera lens covers on devices with enhanced scratch resistance and durability compared to traditional coatings but also improve optical performance. Gorilla Glass with DX and Gorilla Glass with DX Plus lets in 98% of ambient light in comparison with traditional anti-reflective coating which only lets in about 95% of light. Capturing more light in smartphones while cutting down on reflections and glare is helpful for squeezing better performance out of smartphone cameras. Gorilla Glass has been used in more than 8 billion devices by more than 45 major brands and Samsung will be the first customer to adopt the Gorilla Glass DX products for camera lens covers. And to find out more about this amazing breakthrough, with me is Dr. Jamin Amin, Vice President and General Manager, Corning Gorilla Glass. Jamin, thank you so much for joining us. I'm going to start off with the first one. That is cameras, and especially camera surfaces, that module at the back, they're getting bigger. But so are the problem. The reflective surfaces lead to a loss of light, poor photography results, finally, but it seems Corning has a solution. Um, so just like you said, you know, camera surfaces are getting bigger. Cameras are becoming not just a uh, mode for taking pictures and videos, but also um, for a lot of people now, uh, a mode for communication as well. Um, what we have come up with now is um, the use of our DX uh, family of, of coatings and composite uh, materials, the use of that uh, on the front cover of the lens of the camera, uh, it helps from a scratch resistance standpoint. And on top of that, it gives you all of the optical features that you're, you, you're seeking in these cameras. Now, another huge problem is that almost every camera phone today comes with these big camera surfaces at the back. In fact, that bump is getting bigger and bigger. This is a deadly combination for micro scratches on all cameras. What about Corning's legacy? Will the D DX and DX Plus also be scratch resistant? Scratches come in many different flavors, right? This particular coating has a significantly higher hardness than glass. We have a family of coatings in this uh, product suite that we are introducing to the market now. Uh, we can tune the hardness, we can tune the optical properties based on what customers want. Jamin, when do we get to see the first devices with the Corning DX solution? You'll start seeing the first devices hit the market in Q4 of this year, Rajiv. 